Hope you can hear us at the end of the night better than we can hear you right now. And here come the Hurricanes of Miami. And the explosion as the Tigers from LSU take the field. ESPN Showdown Saturday, Miami and LSU. The kicker is number one for Miami, Edgar Bennis. The junior out of Miami Beach, he does not do the place kicking, but he does the kickoffs. Vincent Fuller is number 27. He's up there on the goal line, along with number two, Slip Watkins, as we get ready for an exciting night here at Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. of the end zone that one goes as LSU fans have had high expectations lately for junior quarterback Tom Hudson. Juniors Victor Jones the fullback, Calvin Windham a tailback, Eddie Fuller is injured. Dangerous juniors Alvin Lee and Tony Moss the wide receiver. Ronnie Halliburton from Jimmy Johnson's hometown the tight end. Senior Todd Couty is the center. The guards are juniors Ruffin Rodrigue and Jim Hubix. LSU's best left tackle Ralph Norwood, Robert Packnett on the right side. One back is Victor Jones. Back to the line of scrimmage. Hurricanes defensively. Quick Russell Maryland and Jimmy Jones are the tackles. Greg Mark at left end with All-American Bill Hawkins on the right side. He's Miami's number one sack man. All-American Rod Carter starts at middle linebacker with Randy Shannon at strong side. Quick sophomore Maurice Crum on the weak side. Seniors Donald Ellis and Bubba McDowell at the corners. Bobby Harden and freshman Charles Forms are the safeties. On second and ten. Alvin Windham. LSU will use the pass to set up the run. Darrell Williams is the lone back behind Hudson. Just over the outstretched hands of Calvin Windham. Hurricanes were coming, no return set up here, and a short kick squibs dead at the 46, maybe the 45. Let's meet the Hurricanes. Quarterback Steve Walsh, a junior, now in the top five, all-time passing at the U of M. Senior Cleveland Gary, the fullback, Miami's number one receiver, the halfback, Leonard Conley. Speedy receiver, sophomore Randall Hill and senior Andre Brown with eight touchdowns, with five in his last three games, tight end Randy Bethel. The center is the cat, Bobby Garcia, Sophomores, Mike Sullivan and Darren Handy are the guards. Seniors, Darren Bruce and Miami's best up front, John O'Neill, are the tackles. Outstanding field position for this dangerous offense. Leonard Conley, about a five-yard loss as LSU defense. Senior nose guard, Daryl Phillips, anchors one of the nation's toughest. Juniors, Carl Dunbar and Clint James, a defensive end. The linebackers inside, seniors Rudy Harmon and Eric Hill. Outside, four-year starter Ron Sancho with Mike Hebert. Jimmy Young and Mike Mays, the corners, the strong safety, Jamie Bice, Greg Jackson, LSU's best in the secondary, on the weak side. Walsh right up the middle, inside the 40 for Leonard Conley. It didn't, it didn't help him there. First down for Miami, inside the 40. Leonard Conley up the middle, then angling to his left. Pretty easy pass on second and two. Randall Hill, a sophomore out of Miami. Draw play, Cleveland Gary. Wrapping him up, Mike Hebert finds people. He spreads them out, and Gary's been the recipient of that. The give to the deep man, Leonard Conley. Nowhere to go. Third and six. for the touchdown as Randall Hill falls on it. Steve Walsh with all 
kinds of time to throw. Gary, the reception, the drop, and Hill, the touchdown. Perfect in 33, make it 34 straight, and Miami takes 422. Sitting back there with nothing to do but find them wide open and into the end zone. Miami's offensive line, give it to them. They gave them all day. Randy Harmon on the hit, Randall Hill on the fumble recovery, and Walsh has a new Miami single season record for touchdown throws. Down, thus, touchdown pass, the record setting pass will have to wait a little bit longer. In the end zone, Slip Watkins will run it out. Not much room on the near side, and he gets out to the 18 yard line. Let Watkins, the deep back, feeling his way for yardage. Wrapped up, Greg Mark, Rod Carter from middle linebacker. Slip Watkins wrapped up by Greg Mark. Good penetration. Doesn't like all the hitting that takes place inside. Too small. <laughs> Watson with time up the middle and a good stick there by Rod Carter. Mission again for Miami, Daryl Spencer. And now snap they'll have to run it now they dump it and it's dropped and Miami will have the football as LSU has a problem on special teams the pitch to the deep man Leonard Conley wrapped up there no. right side Cleveland Gary the 20. Eric Hill, third down, and we'll call it six. A little too tall for Gary. It'll be a 37-yard attempt from Carlos Huerta, a former walk-on. He was cut last year, walked on this year. Twisting to the left, and he got it through, and now he's six for seven on the year between 30 and 39 yards. Almost halfway through the first quarter, Miami early by 10. Edgar Benes will again kick it off. Back to his goal line, Slip Watkins. A bit blocked on that return, and Watkins is out over the 30 to the 33. It's no and unless they tie next week, one of them will still have nothing but W's. The running back, Calvin Wyndham, wrapped up there by Randy Shannon. And we've got less than seven minutes, first quarter. Victor Jones, the lone setback as Hudson will fling it. Double coverage out there on Tony Moss. Chrome coming quickly, and Hudson has to dump it. Early if things don't change. Good snap this time, and Bourgeois gets it away. End over end, he'll hope for a bounce and gets it about five or six yards worth as the ball dies at the Miami 35. Now Miami at its own 35. Play action by Walsh. Right sideline, and a bit of a lack of concentration there by Randall Hill. Part of the play. Cleveland Gary helping out, blocking at his fullback position. Draw to the deep man, Leonard Conley. Miami was the only, what you would call, major winning program to recruit it. Third and seven as the rain comes down hard. And it's set time as Verge Osbury spelling Eric Hill. Greg Jackson and Jimmy Young back to get it for LSU. To the near sideline, near it. Fair catch by Jimmy Young. This is Eddie Fuller playing with a hit pointer, but now trying to get the offense started. So they need to have a clear-cut decision-making process. 1.2 yards per play for LSU so far. 36 is Jay Egloff, the junior fullback. With more precision, and you'd have to give that to the Miami offense, will suffer in the rain. Tigers are 0 for 3 on third down. Pulled down beautifully by Eddie Fuller. And he knows how big a catch that is. First, first down. Now left side, slamming in Tony Moss. 
an exciting flanker. He's a junior from Bossier City. And he's fuller. Nicely done by Russell Maryland. And a face mask will push the ball further upfield for LSU. Maybe they'll get off his back now. On first and five, the ball was up off the arms of Tony Moss. He splits out wide to the top of your screen. A little misdirection in the backfield. Eddie Fuller, nothing there as Deion Sanders got 60,000 from George Steinbrenner. And he went. Yes, he did. That's not a bad summer. Hudson with time. And it's overthrown. Alvin Lee, the intended receiver. Oh, he shanks it off the side of his foot and straight out of bounds. Yeah, it was a pooch, all right, but that one would have only been good from about the Miami 40-yard line. <laughs> Two minutes remaining, first quarter, as Cleveland Gary is taken down by maybe the best defensive team they've had to face all year. Right down the sideline. And it is good inside the 50. Brown got the feet down. Walsh with a deep drop. And Cleveland Gary left side. Well timed on the hit, but he did not get it done on that play. Scoring his way through is Leonard Conley. Miami 10 with the ball, LSU nothing on a rainy evening. Conley bouncing off a blocker and a tackler. That is the final play of the first quarter. A touchdown pass and a field goal. Miami 10, LSU nothing. It'll be second and six for the Canes. They're at the 30 of LSU and Cleveland Gary. Is the ball carrier stopped? He might go. Gary appeared to be stopped near the line of scrimmage, and he was gone. Awful so far. No problem for Carlos Huerta, 35 straight in his career. And it's Miami 17, LSU nothing. Eight seconds into the second quarter of play. LSU needs something to ignite them, and that's probably making it the quarter for the Or this kickoff return. Slip Watkins. Can't slip the Hurricanes. And here comes the relief pitcher. Number 10, Mickey Guidry. But you'll often see him come in for a series in the second quarter. In two different games this year, he's completed six out of seven to engineer scoring drives. Toss to Slip Watkins and nothing there. They say he sets the tone for the Miami defense by hitting people. Gidry with time way out of the reach of Tony Moss. Moss facing third and ten. The rain's coming hard, so is the wind. Gidry beyond the reach of Alvin Lee. Miami coming hard, but Bourgeois gets away a wobbly kick that hits at the 43. They'll get a good roll down to the Miami 35-yard line. It is a monsoon in Baton Rouge as the Hurricanes go to the offense and to the ground. Shannon Crowell is the ball carrier. Gain of three. This is Crowell again. Obviously, the sophomore out of Atlanta by all those words, and this ought to be pretty ugly by the time it gets done raining here. And over the hands of Shannon Crowell. Low line drive. Pretty good bounce at the 20. It's just impossible to totally reverse your field now. Well, you hate to see a call like that. Long passes will work in this weather. Eddie Fuller and Jay Egloff for the backs. This is Fuller. 
stripped of the football, picked up by the Hurricanes. 22 is Randy Shannon. He's caused three fumbles this year, and this time he gets one recovered. First down for the Canes at the Tiger 11. Following Cleveland Gary is Leonard Conley. He just tuned in. The score is really field position more than anything. They can get a first down without scoring. Conley inside the five. Ron Sancho. They're down at the four. Conley, no, sir. Eric Hill from outside linebacker. The where to perfect from short range. This one will be a 21-yarder right in between the goalposts. He almost hooked it too much, but it is through. And four minutes and 49 seconds into the second quarter, Miami by 20. Tim Brando, we've got one of your quagmires going here in Baton Rouge. Venice will kick it again. At his own 10, Slip Watkins away from one tackler. Great position out to the 40. Finally brought down. Didn't want to play in the Southwest Conference. He's out of Houston. He said defensive backs in the Big Eight are like linebackers. You don't get to defend against passing too much. Up the middle. There's Tony Moss. Over midfield. Down to the 35 of Miami. And there's the big play the Tigers have been waiting for. Tony Moss, two catches for 36 as he motions right side. He's in the pattern, and there he is. He pulls it down inside the 20. And a little bit of a late pile on there by Maurice Crum. Miami lucky not to get a flag on that. There's Calvin Windham inside the five and a fumble. But it looks like Alvin Lee got it for LSU. First and goal for the Tigers. Alvin Windham straight ahead. What's happened? The halfback lead, Fuller running the ball, or the fullback running the ball. Hudson slipping, and he's down. They'll mark it back at the seven yard line. Tigers on the year, a 37% team on third down. Not much tonight. Fighting off a blitz, Hudson has to dump it. Hurricanes were in the backfield. David Browndyke from 25 yards. And he pulled it to the right and missed it. Browndyke, most accurate on the year, 15 of 17. He had a big miss earlier this year that would have tied a game at Ohio State. Miami on top by 20 with the football as the rain has virtually stopped. Little shovel from Walsh ahead to Cleveland Gary. Cleveland in. Ball play, Cleveland Gary has to dive over the line to get a couple, but they're going to say the ground caused the fumble. Two times in eight ball game. There's a reason why, a lot of time. Andre Brown, even with his athleticism, they almost blocked it. Good bounce for Miami. Ball's dead at the 43. All right, Timmy. LSU with the football. Good field position for the Tigers. And good running ahead. There's the freshman, Vincent Fuller. 5'9", 179. You will have a shot at every one of those throughout the game. Tigers got four on that first play. Vincent Fuller again. Death and Death Valley for LSU just on field for you. Nice catch inside the 30, the tight end Willie Williams. Tommy Hodgson now, 6 of 11 for 89 yards. Deep drop down the middle and slipping a bit was Ronnie Halliburton, or he would have had that one. Second and ten. Great grab. Right sideline. Alvin Lee. So that'll open up the passing game for Hudson. Run and left here. Go on third and one. Victor Jones. They've got a wing back and two behind the quarterback on fourth and one. Intercepted. 
intercepted in the end zone by Charles Farms, the freshman out of Houston. First interception of his collegiate career. He's only been a starter for the last four games. In their last two times down the field. It's got rain, so back to the air go the Hurricanes. And Fred Highsmith on his first snap of the night. He tough to run or throw it in. Second and one. That's Shannon Crowell. The sophomore. They'll move the change as he's out over the 30. Walsh giving it to Crowell. Second and five. Clock under two minutes. This is Crowell again. Bumble in the air. And did LSU cover before it got off the field? No, they did not. Soccer, it's a header. First down, Miami. A little short pass up the middle. Nothing doing there. Straight ahead to Randy Bethel, the tight end. Bethel, a 6'3", 240 sophomore. And Randy, and he said, learn it. Fast. Third and short with a minute left. Up top goes Walls, and it's picked off by Greg Jackson. The weak safety to the near side. He's got some room. He'll get to near midfield at least. And up to the 49 of LSU, a flag flies after he goes out of bounds. Greg Jackson, of course, you see having a big year. He now has 10 on his career with those six this season. Tony Moss motioning. There he is across the middle. Near hash mark as Randy Shannon wraps him up. An LSU trail, 15-0 at Bama a couple of weeks ago. Came back to win. There's Tony Moss again. He's loose down to the 20. Randy Shannon. Well, Miami wants to give up a completion, if it is a completion, in the middle short. They're going to protect everything else. Hodgson with time. Down the middle. At the 10. Tight end, Ronnie Halliburton. Looking Tony Moss's way. End zone. A little bit overthrown. Bubba McDowell on the coverage, so on a dry field, that might be a touchdown, but not here. They might not be this close on a dry field. <laughs> he just got it away, and over the head of Farms, the freshman safety. Get three, go into the locker room, regroup. Mike Abear, the linebacker, is the snapper. Chris Mook, the holder. Brown Dyke, who missed earlier, the kicker, and he didn't miss that time. David Brando, a 27-yarder, and one second remaining in the first half. Title picture didn't happen. Brondike will ground it and taken at the 35-yard line by the Hurricanes. That brings the first half to a close. Miami 20, LSU finally on the scoreboard with a field goal. That's the story from Baton Rouge. And now at halftime, here's Tim Brando. Flip Watkins nearest to number two. 27 is Vincent Fuller. So the Tigers will have the football here in the second half. Watkins lets it go over his head. It's at the five. He's got no choice but to run, and he is in trouble. At the 11-yard line as Slip Watkins. This is Calvin Windham. A couple of yards. Single back is Victor Jones. He's blocking as Hodson throws it straight ahead underneath Tony Moss. There he goes out to the 40 with a move. He's to midfield. And still going inside the 45 of Miami. An electrifying run after the catch by Tony Moss. No rain falling. LSU with a big play early in the third quarter. Draw to the tailback. Calvin Windham, nothing there. Wrapped up down low by Maurice Crum. No backs in the backfield on this corner. They're coming from the corners. Hodson steps up. And it's off the hands. Saw Randy Shannon, strong side linebacker, coming from outside. Third and long. Looking right side. He's got Calvin Windham. That is 
enough for a first down. But the last two times, no backs in the backfield. Windham on the carry. Fullback Victor Jones leading the way. Rod Carter. Not nearly the caliber that Hawkins is. He gets away from Russell, Maryland, and out of bounds. Down near the 26-yard line. Conscience, his teammates call him. He keeps them in line. Here's the third down play. Little swing out left side, Wyndham. And he is met immediately by Bobby Harden, the strong safety. I formation is not their running formation normally in this, in this situation. They give it to the deep man. It's Wyndham. And you can look at the marker at the top of your screen and see that he got the first down. LSU has been outstanding inside the opponent's 30. And it's Wyndham carrying, Carter meeting him. Loss of two on that play. Tony Moss going to that left side. Now across the middle, it's Alvin Lee unable to hold on. Right side, it's Wyndham. He's got to do it on his own. Good coverage there by Charles Farms, the freshman safety. Look out for the tight end on the weak side, on the right side. They needed four, went straight ahead to Moss. Coverage all over the place by the Hurricanes. Maurice Krum in the middle, the 11 plays, goes for not for LSU, still down by 17. This is Leonard Conley. Boy, and the thing you dread if you're on the sideline of the... Cleveland Gary to the far sideline. There's an audible here now. Now LSU would want to change their defense now. Time for Walsh and a little bit too low for Cleveland Gary. To the sideline, kneeling for the reception, Randall Hill. Early field position. Mm -hmm. Leonard Conley on the carry, Ron Sancho. Walsh hit from behind. Is it a fumble or an incompletion? It is an incomplete pass. Over the top of the middle. And the catch from Andre Brown. Down the sidelines. Tries to cut inside and gets near the 10. Jimmy Young finally pulls him down. Andre Brown is within three of an all-time Miami reception touchdown record. This is Leonard Conley. Nothing left. Nothing right. And very little in the middle. Great Jackson from weak safety. Who handled pretty well today. You tough guy. Or was it Utah? It's right Left side, and the pass completed to Cleveland Gary. Out of bounds on the near side. He's, he's playing the right wing, and you need to cover. Here comes Shannon Crowell. They've got to get down to the one and a half. Carlos Huerta with a 21-yarder. Has not missed from this range this year. And they couldn't get it for the spot. With it is Tim Corral, who's the punter. Louisiana State picks it up, and the Tigers have the football out at the 24-yard line. Mike Merla all over it. Well, you notice how difficult it is for both these teams in close. Right. Hodgson, lots of time. Up the middle, off a defender. Donald Ellis, he knows Tommy Hodson, and he feels that if anybody can handle this sort of pressure, it's Hodson, the junior. Hurt said he got booed a few times, too. Up the field, there's Alvin Lee. Room to run at midfield into Miami territory. Little play action by Hodson. Looked like he wanted to load up and throw it long. He couldn't. And then it's too tall on the right side for Willie Williams, the tight end. We have defensive holding your first time. To the Miami 40. Big play by Lee. The penalty. 
And now a give to the deep man. That is Slip Watkins. Hot running toward the four-minute mark in the third quarter. Here comes Tony Moss. Pressure. Screen out right side. Moss near the 35. A long screen, if you will. And he's very good one-to-one -one coverage despite the knee problems. Pressure from Crum on the outside. Ball is in the air. And it's tipped down there by Bubba McDowell. Yeah, Slip Watkins or Moss. Cover them both. Who was that intended for? It was behind Moss. Slip Watkins in the pattern, and LSU will again turn it over on Tiger Stadium, Baton Rouge. Hurricanes at their own 35 as Walsh operates with time. And slipping before it got there, Andre Brown. Big part of Walsh's passing game. And they're not a big front line either. Angling to the left is Shannon Crowell. They seem to have a net of a great combination of offensive line technique and quarterbacking. Walsh straight ahead, Andre Brown. He's out near the 45. Now a little bit longer, left side, pulled down by Dale Dawkins, but he did not have control. The operation's only on his knees, at two on the shoulder as well. A lot of time on the table. Shannon Crowell carrying. LSU's defense getting tough here. <laughs> It's a long seven on third down. And great coverage outside on the left. Mike Mays. He's looking toward the left corner. Fair catch signal. Fumble, and Miami appears to have it. Inside the 20, a high-risk attempt but a catch by Jimmy Young, and it will cost the Tigers big time. Another mistake in the kicking game. Walsh outside Randy Bethel inside the tent. Jimmy Young and Jamie Bice. Miami could put this one way ahead now. Play right in the third quarter. Quite often, Bobby, you don't catch those in the dry one. Fred Highsmith angling to the seven, maybe the six. Flags fly. Personal foul. Personal foul. Right, right, man. First down. It's inadvertent face mess. Cleveland Gary and Shannon Crowell in the backfield. It is Crowell. Wrestled down. Nice play. Eric Hill. And here we go. One quarter remaining. Miami 20. Tigers of LSU 3. We'll be right back. Cleveland Gary. Looked like he wanted to leap over the line, and LSU early fourth quarter. Out of the end zone. Boy, nice catch, but about four yards out with Randall Hill. First delay game penalty before the snap. They get another shot. Uh huh. There's quick penetration, and it's into the end zone. Cleveland Gary. Juan Sanjo was pressuring Walls, who dumped it, and Cleveland Gary grabbed it right at the flag. Jamie Bice wrote him out, but he had crossed the plane on the delay of game. No problem for a senior who worked uh, there, as he knocks it right through. And with 51 seconds elapsed in the fourth quarter, Miami all over LSU, 27-3. As Miami has opened up a 24-point lead, they've been awesome down deep in LSU territory. Wayne Williams, uh, Mickey Guidry again as the quarterback for LSU. Little option right side. And they snuffed that one out pretty well. Randy Shannon, here it's 13-30 remaining, fourth quarter. Miami on top of LSU, 27-3. Tony Moss motions to the near side in the pattern, can't reach it. Donald Ellis watching him. Miami can tee off on third and 17. 
Ryan Gidry grounding it. Don't see any flags. Good bourgeois from his own three. Nearly blocked end over end. Not much distance near side. Gets a nice kick. It's out to the 44 yard line. A and missed opportunities on fourth and short. Dooming LSU so far. And this is Craig Erickson. Yeah, he's Walsh's backup. You never hear about him. Off the hands of Dale Dawkins and pretty good coverage downfield. Some of the media considers he should be redshirted next year in Walsh's senior year. He would have two years remaining after that. Erickson will try to run it. He has to get to the 35, and he is met head on by Eric Middleton. Why would you even play for a league title if there's nothing to gain? Steve Walsh is the quarterback again, and they get the first down on fourth and three as Shannon Crowell tomorrow night on ESPN. Straight ahead, Alex Johnson inside the 30. An emotional win. It was a great win for LSU, and it goes for naught under this system. Alex Johnson, the ball carrier. Trailing Miami 27 to 3. Ten and a half minutes left. It's second and 17. Steve Walsh buries one as he looks for Alex Johnson. If Miami beats Arkansas, of course, they will move up to number two. Right, let's continue after this play. Down the field, Andre Brown at the 15-yard line. To come down, obviously, to Notre Dame if they win against USC. We'll continue in a minute. First down, pass right side, and that one is over on the right for Tracy Waiters. If Notre Dame beats USC, remains number one, and West Virginia beats them, Miami, if they go undefeated, could get the national championship, as you said, for picking the <laughs> national champion. Third down and two. Cleveland Gary again trying to launch a jump. And they, in fact, might get the national title over an undefeated West Virginia team if certain things happen. Carlos Huerta, no problem from 22. Miami tacks on three more. 7.49 remaining in the football game. Steve Walsh back in there. His replacement injured 30 to 3. LSU came in 7 and 2. Their SEC record will end on the year at 6 and 1. They played Tulane in a week. And at the 5, it is Wayne Williams angling near side, out and over the 30, fighting his way near the 35 yard line. And that is the number one team. In other words, if USC wins and then wins the Rose Bowl, uh, I believe that they would be the number one team. And I believe that uh, Notre Dame, if they were to go undefeated, it's right. And the kid's got two years to go. Tommy Hodson, a quarterback for LSU. Tony Moss couldn't hold on a moment ago. It's second and ten. A little flip ahead. This is Alvin Lee. Alvin is out over the 45. I saw that. If I'd have known he was up there, I would have thrown it to Bob Euchard. There's Hodson delivering it right side. Roddy Halliburton, the tight end. Second and five. Hodson. Left side. Moss way out in the open. I mean, there was nobody in a white jersey with 6.06 remaining. Miami on top, 30 to 3. And Alvin Lee was looking downfield to see who was going to tackle him at his own 10 for Miami. He'll dive ahead and go down with the knee at the 22. Not much offensively for the Bayou Bengals here tonight. Ball carrier Shannon Crowell, Eric Middleton, two very fine teams. They're not an offensive powerhouse. They never were this year. Out of bounds, right side. He's made an impact here early. Great season a year ago in his rookie campaign. Here's Shannon Crowell. Toward the outside, and he did not stay in bounds. Fair catch at the 38 for Jimmy Young. Well, made me want to go look for some sand, a little beach. Might get that chance in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Hodson dropping. 
dumping it ahead. Caught there by Calvin Windham, who got turned around in 360. Well, that's an excellent statistic, and Miami is strong across the board against everybody. And they stuffed the Tigers here tonight. Intercepted. That is Roland Smith, and he is gone. Roland Smith, the sophomore out of Miami, his third interception of the year for a 47-yard touchdown. Carlos Suerte, no problem at all with the PAT. And with exactly four minutes left, the route is on. Hurricanes hammering the Tigers. Off the kickoff, LSU. Straight ahead is Vincent Fuller, and he's out to the 39-yard line, is on special teams. Uh, no rotator cut problem. There is no time pine tar on these bags tonight. This is the wettest weather I've ever worked in in all my you career. Two, you had to do two weeks in Vegas, Roger. Right? Let's I, see I you work here. Uh, second and ten. <laughs> the quarterback is Saul Graves, the third-string man for LSU. A 6'5 sophomore out of Monroe, Louisiana. Miami, 37, LSU, 3. Look out, Saul. Ball is on the ground. Hurricanes have it. Looks like Ernest Parrish, 97, on the recovery. Here's a pitch to Fred Highsmith. Ran into his offensive lineman there. Replace everyone except Steve Walsh, who is the player of the game. This is Highsmith. And still come back. He was turned down by a school that was playing club Villan football. Villanova club football yeah. <laughs> didn't want him. <laughs> Boy, they must be good. Uh, <laughs> Corner of the end zone, a flag flies on pass interference. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a couple days to dry out. There's Highsmith again. Miami. He'll be 49 and 9 after tonight. And heading for the end zone is Alex Johnson. That is his first touchdown of the year on a 16-yard journey through the LSU defense. But he expected anything like this. Wet field or dry field. So it's 44 to 3 with a minute to go and with a minute remaining. And inside the 10, it's Wayne Williams. Jitterbugging his way out over the 30. How many timeouts do they have left? Two. Don't look at me like that, partner. It's 44 to 3. Running at right side is the freshman Vincent Fuller. Wendell Davis. It's been a tough for him this year. A little reverse action here. Ball carrier Wayne Williams. Forget about that as the Hurricanes are all over him. It is all over. Miami on top. 8-1 on the year now as they beat LSU by a score of 44-3. For Chris Fowler and Kevin Kiley, Bob Carpenter, Sports Center is next on ESPN.